Hello, everyone, and welcome to Maine College of Art and Design here in Portland, Maine. My name is Brittany, and I'm the current graphic designer at Maine College of Art, and I invite you to join me on a tour of our amazing facilities. To get started, all of our departments are housed in this one building, the Portress Building. Some academic classes and drawing classes take place in another building, 380 Cumberland, which is about two blocks away. All students have 24-hour access seven days a week to the buildings, and all third and fourth year students have their own studio space in the department they choose to major in. The Portress Building functions as a five-floor gallery where students can sign out installation spaces throughout the year for critiques, process, and exhibitions. In this video, you'll see 11 departments, the cafe, the Joanne Waxman Library, the Fabrications Lab, and more. We are going to be starting on the fifth floor in the Sculpture Elective Studio. Sculpture students can use traditional sculpture like woodworking, stone carving, clay modeling, steel fabrication, and installation works. There's even an installation room in the classroom. Sculpture students explore the relationship between material, technique, process, scale, and context. They're making objects in the aforementioned traditional materials as well as contemporary practices using plastics, the body and body extensions, food, light, video, new media, land art, performance, and social and conceptual practices. The plaster room is often used for mold making for bronze and aluminum casting, and in the foundry, students can weld and forge metal sculptures. Mecca is one of the few schools with a foundry, so students can do large-scale cast bronze and aluminum work. As we walk, let's talk about Mecca's pre-college program, a three-week program offered in the summer to students who have completed their sophomore, junior, or senior year of high school. This program allows students to customize their individual pre-college experience by choosing two unique majors, such as animation, ceramics, illustration, comics and graphic novels, fashion and textile design, and more. Additionally, all students who participate receive an application fee waiver to Mecca's BFA program, three college credits, and a $1,500 scholarship upon enrollment to Mecca. Now we're going to be heading down the hall into the ceramics department where we have the kiln room, which has electric, gas, soda, and Raku kilns. Having an indoor Raku firing facility is extremely rare, but we have a great ventilation system that allows students to experiment with this kind of firing. Down the hall, we also have a glaze room and a mold library. In the main elective space, students hand build, wheel throw, slip cast, and use experimental surfaces and mixed materials to create work from vessels to tableware to large ceramic sculptures. We also have clay mixing room where students learn how to mix their own clay, learn glaze chemistry, and fire their own work. Students learn every single step of the ceramics process. While we walk, let's talk about our counseling services. A very important piece of our student life department is our counseling center. Mecca counselors are committed to helping students achieve their personal and academic goals while enhancing their self-understanding. They provide students with support and encouragement in a non-judgmental, caring setting where diversity is respected and celebrated. Counseling is free and confidential at Mecca. Office hours are available every weekday as well as Saturdays. On the fourth floor, we'll first be going into the painting elective room, where we have great light, plenty of storage, great ventilation, and beautiful views of the city. In the painting department, students both learn the fundamentals of painting as well as alternative techniques using light, space, form, and color to translate their environment and their narratives. Students are trained in both representation and abstraction. Like I said earlier, every third or fourth year student gets their own studio space. These spaces look different depending on the department, but here's an example of the printmaking major studio spaces. Now we'll be heading into the printmaking studio where we'll find a wide variety of processes taking place. A couple important to mention would be the use of the lithography stone and relief presses. The large press in this room is the second largest press in Maine, the largest one actually being right next door at Pickwick Independent Press, owned by a Mecca MFA alum and started by a Mecca BFA alum. Majors focus on printmaking as a fine art form, as well as a vehicle for vernacular culture, social descent, 
cultural identity, and more. Students often work in installation, digital fabrication, fine art editions, collaborative projects, public art, and entrepreneurial endeavors. In the elective classroom, there are also a variety of presses and equipment, like letterpress, block printing, relief printing, and intaglio. We'll now be heading right next door to our Fab Lab, short for Fabrications Lab. Here we have a laser cutter, laser etcher, and 3D printers, as well as a printer that prints onto fabric. Students use these for electives, installation, and majors work, such as jewelry, woodworking, sculpture, textile, among others. All students have access to this lab upon completing training or through supervision by a professor. As we're walking, another important piece of our Student Life Department is Disability Services. Maine College of Art is committed to providing equal access for students with disabilities. We encourage self-advocacy and early identification of need. Students work collaboratively with Disability Services Coordinator, Joanne Benica, to develop an individualized plan for specific accommodations. As we move on to the next department, let's talk about financial aid. Our financial aid programs and services assist our students and families with paying for college. At Maine College of Art and Design, 100% of our BFA degree students receive some type of financial assistance. Students at Mecca receive more than $3 million annually in the form of scholarships, grants, loans, and job opportunities. The college provides over $1.3 million directly to support the aid programs available to students. We'll now be heading into the photography dark rooms, of which there are two, one for elective students and one for majors. Photo students experiment with technical and conceptual elements of traditional and contemporary processes, including 35 millimeter, medium format, large format, and digital capture. Both silver film and alternative processes are taught here. The main focus of the photography department is to hone in on the historical and contemporary relevance of photography that takes students from being a casual photographer to an artist. Students are able to borrow all kinds of camera equipment to work with these various processes. There's also a digital photo lab located on the lower level that we'll be getting to later in the tour. Next, we'll be heading into the metal smithing and jewelry department. Here, students learn soldering, fabrication, forming, raising, finishing, stone setting, fine gold smithing, enameling, casting, and how to work in multiples. In the fabrication room, this is where you can see the various tools for forming, shaping, casting, polishing, and finishing. Students work in traditional metals as well as wood, plastic, fiber, resin, and found materials. They make jewelry, sculpture, hollowware, and conceptual work, and their work ethic is unparalleled. Next, we'll be moving on to the third floor, where we have the Illustration Major Studio. Illustration students focus on context and narrative in books, comics, magazines, advertising, animation, and games. The major focus is on both technical ability rooted in drawing skills, as well as teaching students how to invent concepts, think conceptually, and develop a distinct personal style. Oftentimes, we can get students paired with community partners and real clients to develop professional skills and paid work experience. Now we're headed into the Graphic Design Major Studio. The major space is modeled after a design firm, where students can both work individually and collaboratively. In graphic design, students learn how to analyze and understand their audience, and how to effectively use the visual language of type, image, and context to enhance meaning. Both illustration and graphic design pair well with other majors, such as painting, printmaking, sculpture, and digital media, with many students taking electives in other areas outside their majors to complement their studies. Graphic design students work on interactivity, websites, video, narratives, publications, and information design, among many other things. Professional designers are oftentimes invited on campus to participate in the major's midterm and final critiques. We are now headed to the Woodworking and Furniture Design Studios. Woodworking and Furniture Design students use a wide range of materials and processes, utilizing wood in all of its forms and species, aluminum, 
bronze, steel, and various types of fibers, while also learning how to master casting in plastics, fabrication, welding, and upholstery. The program has a focus on environmental sustainability and teaches students the processes of prepping lumber, steaming, bending, and planing while utilizing both hand tools and specialized machinery. The program focuses on both traditional furniture making and contemporary furniture, as well as large-scale sculpture work. Here is the textile and fashion design department. We have fabrication tables, industrial sewing machines, knitting machines, print facilities, dress forms, a felting machine, a dye lab, and several weaving looms. The textile and fashion design program is the only program like it in the country, with students learning how to both understand and create textiles, as well as using these textiles to create designs for the body. Students learn all steps from concept to production to marketing, with students often working in furniture design, fabric manipulation and embellishment, machine knitting, silkscreen printing, pattern drafting and draping, garment construction, concept development, and fashion sketching. On the second floor, we have the Joanne Waxman Library. This is a non-shushing library, so students can come to research, have meetings, hang out, and have critiques. The Joanne Waxman Library is one of the largest independent libraries in northern New England and a major resource for the region. We have a large collection of rare books and special collections in the arts, as well as a massive digital image collection for art research and access to hundreds of art magazines and journals. We also have a 24-hour quiet study space and a writing and tutorial center available to all students. Here we have Mecca's Cafe. We are open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner Monday through Saturday and for brunch on Sundays. We offer a variety of meals and we also offer vegan, vegetarian, and gluten-free options. We have meal plans included in room and board fees, which are different for each of our residence halls since some are dorm style and some are apartment style, which include their own kitchenettes. Down on the first floor, we have animation and game art. Animation and game art offers an interdisciplinary curriculum that integrates drawing, 2D and 3D design, digital imaging, and video. Students work on transmedia storytelling, animated and live action films, web environments, character concepts, video game art, interactive comics, mobile app design, and multimedia digital art installation. This is one of the fastest growing majors at Mecca, and also one of the fastest growing industries in the country. Our students do internships with game development companies, industry conferences, digital firms, and companies like Hasbro. Our alumni have worked on award-winning animated films like Frozen, and other work in stop-motion animation, production, app design, and interactive design. On the first floor, we have our ICA, or Institute of Contemporary Art. This is an incredible resource for students to have right on campus, where we get to see local, national, and globally renowned artists. Students also get the option to intern here, work with visiting artists, and see world-class work by visiting curators. Down on the lower level, we have the Bob Crew Program for Art and Music, which allows students in the program to earn a minor in music. The program has been designed in response to student needs and prepares students to cross traditional boundaries as musicians, performers, sound artists, artists, and thinkers. We offer classes in ethnomusicology, sound and music, music business and management, digital audio recording, and the history of contemporary music, among others. Our state-of-the-art facilities features an Avid S6 mixing console, thought to be one of the only ones in New England, with the closest one being at SNL Studios in New York City. Also on the lower level, we have the Digital Photo Elective Lab. In the Digital Lab, students obtain a working knowledge of digital exhibition printing using Photoshop, 
InDesign, Epson, ImagePrint, and Nikon scanning software. We have large format printers that can print 44-inch, 24-inch, and 17-inch formats. Film scanners, portable lighting kits, and DSLR cameras are also available for use. In terms of housing, we have four residence halls, all within walking distance of the Mecca Porches building. Our Oak Street dorm is actually on the same block as Mecca. This is a dorm-style residence, where most of our first-year students live. Most of these rooms are doubles, where students share a bathroom with the room next door. Our Shepley building is one block away from Mecca. This is an apartment-style residence, complete with a kitchenette, and mostly features triples and quads. We also have SNF and Monument, which are apartment style and are mainly for upper class students and graduate students. Every student in housing purchases a meal plan. Oak Street dorm residents have a 17 meal per week plan since they don't have kitchens, and all other residence halls automatically have a 7 meal per week plan, which they can upgrade if they'd like. There are RAs on every floor of each residence hall, Wi Fi in each dorm, and we also offer gender neutral housing. Thank you so much for joining us on this tour of Maine College of Art and Design. We're so excited to have you join our community. If you have any questions at all, feel free to contact us.